Yeah, there's, uh, you know, growing up a swimmer, I, I was just thinking about your, you know, talking about early days in swimming. And, you know, you, to, to your earlier point, in swimming, you're very focused on your race, you know, if you're going to execute. I mean, it is, we're, we're talking hundreds of a second here. So, you know, if you sort of mentally break out of that, you lose that moment, that momentum. But triathlon and especially, you know, Kona, it sounds like the awareness of the environment and accepting that it's not going to be exactly 25 yards and exactly, you know, 78.6 degrees and, and those kind of things. That sort of had to be like shaken out of you. And here you are in this moment, and you it, it sounds like you're focused on the race to me, but there's space in your in sort of your mind and your body to take in the surroundings and what and what was going on and be aware of them without any of that sort of overwhelming or crowding out anything else that's going on. It seems like an amazing balance to find. You know, one of, one of the ways to kind of describe the difference between an approach to the Ironman that, that can get you caught and an approach that can help propel you forward, it's, it's very similar to surfing, okay? So like when you're surfing, you can paddle out and say, okay, today I'm gonna do a bottom turn that looks like this and a top turn that looks like that and I'm gonna get a tube ride that's this long and you don't know. You're gonna have to go out there and interact with the wave and each wave is gonna be different in it. You, you can either try to do what you want to do or you can respond to what the wave is saying, this is what you can do on this day. The Iron Man is like that, but in a very much more subtle way. You know, like I said, there's this energy of the island that's, it's like it's waves that, that keep hitting you and moving you and, and coming at you from different directions. And so you have, you for sure will always, I always had an ideal strategy of how I wanted their day to go but I was also willing to adapt and respond and, and hopefully uh, kind of be in partnership with the challenges that the Ironman was, that the, that the, the island, the race dynamic was gonna throw at me because if you have your ideal and that's the only way you know how to race or the only way you're willing to race, forget it. It's gonna, you're, <laughs> you're gonna be chopped up into a million pieces out there on the, on the race course if you're willing to respond to what's happening and go beyond your ideal into places that maybe are very unideal or very challenging for you, then you have a chance of actually kind of like being like bamboo and swaying and moving and bending but not breaking.